Hello, hello, my storytime friends. It's Gail, the storytime girl with the Rosa Sketch Museum. And today's story is about a tooth fairy. But not just any tooth fairy, a dinosaur tooth fairy. But before we do that, if you're outside in your backyard, let's do our little warm up stretch, reach up to the sky. Oh, okay. Turn around, turn the other way, wiggle your feet and hands. Okay, wiggle your ears, get them ready for listening, roll your eyes, make sure they're being able to see. And I think we're ready for story time. The Dinosaur Tooth Fairy by Martha Rockenbroth. And the drawings are by Israel Sanchez. Dinosaur Tooth Fairy. Let's get started. Inside the Museum of Truly Odd Things, past the food court, the woolly mammoths, and the wheeled exhibit, the last dinosaur tooth fairy polishes her collection of fangs. She has a spiky beauty from a spinosaurus, a mighty molar from the gigantosaurus, and a splendid side tooth she snagged from a yawning duckbill hydrosaur. Those were good days for a dinosaur tooth fairy. The world was hot, the teeth were huge, and the tiny dinies made her happy. But so much time has passed, and now the dinosaur tooth fairy is alone alone, alone. She knows just what she needs to feel better though. A new tooth. Like that one over there. It's a teeny tiny white, terrific doozy of a tooth. And it's loser and it's looser than loose. Look! Blink! The dinosaur tooth fairy wants it, wants it, wants it! So she leaves behind her collection of fangs and tiptoes after the child. The child who gets swallowed by a giant giant roaring monster. The dinosaur tooth fairy rushes to save the day. But the monster only blinks his swoopy lashes and zooms away. She hangs on tight until at last he stops <coughs> and coughs and whoosh, out pops the child. The dinosaur tooth fairy wants a rest, but she needs, needs, needs that tooth. And so until the sun goes down, she battles the one-eyed Dornobosaurus who is fierce and impossible. But at last she defeats him and lands punk next to a beast who has splendid fangs of his own and a great deal of ugh, drool. The doggies tickled to see her in this house full of teeth, where some are attached and some are not.
Yet there's still just the one thing she wants, and it's nowhere. Nowhere, nowhere to be found. She tries one last spot, but the tooth isn't in the shark cave. Nor is it with the small, furry mammal. It's definitely not with the parrot, who is rude, rude, rude. And that is all there is to say. Ah, tooth parrot, ah, tooth parrot, ah. And now the sun is rising and she doesn't have what she wants. And this is terrible, terrible, terrible. And just as she's about to give up, she hears the child and sniffs the air. It's the tooth! Over the bed, but under the pillow, which is a problem because her arms are as short as her tantrums are long. Uh-oh! Sorry, birds, but I was having some troubles with the pages here. <gasps> Is that the sound of a heart breaking? Sigh. <gasps> it's not. It's not. It's not. <gasps> oh. I think they're having an exchange of teeth. Blick, blick. It's the sound of two new friends who have found the teeth of their dreams. And something else they love even more. end. So, boys and girls, if you've got any loose teeth, if you hide them under your pillow, a tooth fairy will come, or maybe hmm, even a dinosaur tooth fairy. Anyway, until next time, remember there's always a other great programming on our website or in Instagram, and stay tuned for next time's story. And remember, there's always magic in the world, and it all starts right here in your imagination. Until next time, bye.